Hey guys, it's Kelly Ann and welcome to another Flossy Friday. Today is August 28th. Wow, it's almost September. How? How? Do we even know? How? It's flying by so fast. Um, so I don't have much to show this week. So this is going to be a shorter video than usual and I'm on the short end of videos of floss tubing to begin with. So just be prepared for that. I'm going to be like a quick in and out this week. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, but real quick updates. Potter is doing really well. I'm not going to try and trick him to get him into the video this week um, because he is sleeping across the room occasionally looking up and staring at me like a stalker. It's cute though. Um, but he says hello to everyone. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to try and trick him to come into the video. Um, but, uh, so this week I had plans to work on some other stuff and like finish getting Midnight Way caught up for the next release, which is on Monday. Crazy. Um, and I, I didn't because I got to a point in Witches of Salem where I just couldn't put it down. Um, and so I kept going on it. And so I do have a lot of progress on Witches of Salem. Um, but I kind of have a migraine that is not as bad as it was earlier. Cause earlier I just laid down in bed for like a couple of hours. It's not as bad. So I am going to get to stitch today, but I haven't stitched in three. Well, including today, three days. So I am going to stitch later, well, after I'm done doing this. Anyways, it's like 8.30 p.m. today. So this is going to go up really late. It's also going to be really short. It is what it is this week. But this week has been really stressful with work. And the thing that I mentioned last week that I've been dealing with for the last week and a half has now turned into two and a half weeks. And it's not going to be resolved until earliest next week. So... We're going into three weeks of a very super stressful, anxiety-inducing situation. I don't really want to talk about it, honestly. Um, it's not relevant to floss tube in any way. It's a mistake that was not mine, and I just have to wait out the process. Anyways, <laughs> that's as much as I want to talk about it. Um, cause like I said, it's mentally exhausting. Um, but other than that work has been really busy and super crazy. And this week hurricane Laura was supposed to come to Texas and, um, Houston and my area, I'm North of Houston, um, by a ways, but it, we were in the same like band of what type of level of rain and wind we were supposed to get. And um, Laura was supposed to make a big turn at 10 p.m. because if she wouldn't have turned, she would have come straight for Houston and nobody was prepared for that if that would have happened. Um, just so you know. <laughs> um, but she ended up making the turn, but she ended up making a bigger turn than what was predicted and we ended up getting nothing. So um, Tuesday, there was a lot of prep for Laura and then Wednesday there was some final prep. I did some IG stories and I deleted them as information changed because I didn't want people to get confused but that's kind of what happens with hurricanes. The information can change really fast. Um, they move really slow but the level of damage or storm that you may see changes every 30 minutes to an hour. So um Anyways, so Wednesday night I did some prep and then I decided to take a nap because I don't sleep very well during big storms because if I do need to go, I want to be awake if I need to go in a closet. I want to be awake if I need to leave my bed because I live in the Piney Woods and we were supposed to get wind levels that can knock a pine tree off of its tiny little stem and I'm surrounded by them and they're 200 to 300 feet tall and you know one in your yard can fall one in the neighbor's yard can fall the one across the street can fall and still hit your house so 
Um, you have to be in a spot that is safe during the rest of the storm, but also safe in case a tree comes into your house. So um, I took a nap to prep for whenever the storm hit and nothing ended up happening. So I just literally slept the whole night. So didn't stitch last night and or uh, Wednesday night. And then last night, um, we had um, what are called rolling brownouts, and that's where the um, energy infrastructure was damaged so badly in certain areas by Laura and so many, tra uh, not transformers, but um, uh, main areas or what have you. Anyways, they had to shut down a lot of areas in East Texas and North of Houston that didn't get hit by the storm, they had to shut us down to make some of those repairs and like reroute the lines to be able to get power to affected areas sooner. Um, and so I didn't have power last night. So I watched YouTube on my phone while I was plugged into a power brick in the dark. <laughs> Um, the power went out just as the sun was going down around like 6.30 and it didn't come back on until like 11.15 p.m. So I didn't get to stitch last night um, because by that time I was tired and went to bed. So um, and like I said tonight I've been resting <laughs> because I had a migraine. So I'm going to I am going to stay up tonight and I'm going to work on tequila because it'll be a nice one to work on with the way my head feels. So I'm just going to show you what that one looks like right now. Um, this is, don't be like me and store your threads in a shameful manner. I'm admitting that I store my stuff in a shameful manner. Um, but this is where it's at. So I would love to get this section done because then I would have 50% of the pattern done. Um, I love statistical numbers, so um, that would be really cool to get, obviously not tonight, but I do want to work on this, so I may give this a few days, um, or like a day or two, I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to work on that, and that's in a Cassie bag. Um, and so the rest of the week, though, um, I was going to change what I was working on, and I got to a certain point in Witches of Salem, and I was like... I can't I love working on this so much and actually like I love it so much I want to keep working on it and I just honestly want to like bang it out and finish it but I'm probably gonna put it away until maybe later in the month of September or October um, but this is where she is so um, I finished these three names and uh, the word Corey or the last name Corey. Um, I finished this wheat stock. I so there's that area that says like for buttons or lace or whatever, and then this goes down here at the bottom. I moved it up because there's one of these um, at the top of the tree underneath the the house. The gallows house um anyways uh I did the year I did all of her and then I started the tree um so I have the tree underway and so all that's left is finishing the tree this wheat the these names which it sucks. I thought that I had more of this color. It's um, it's Garden Gate. I'm pretty sure that I have more of Garden Gate, but I don't have enough to finish these. I might have enough to get two, maybe two and a half names finished. Um, maybe. I know I can probably get Ann Foster and Martha Corey, but then the one above them, um, Susanna uh, Martin, her name is so long. So I, I'll be lucky if I get three names um, with, with what I have left. But I'm pretty sure that I have more of it. 
but it's not in my box, so it means that it's in a whip, and I have no idea where. No idea. No idea where. So I need to get me some of that so we can finish that. But then, um, but then I just have Salem and then Gallows Hill and the house and the other little thing. So I still have a lot to go, don't get me wrong, but I have a lot more done than I did before. So everything, except for that, except for this angel wing, everything in orange is what I did this last round, which actually, I've done more than that. I've done like that much. Um, and I'm not going to put the little falling leaves. I'm going to, I'm omitting, omitting those. So that's where Witches of Salem is. And confirmation, it is Silk Weaver, 32 count Belfast in Days Not Forgotten. So that's what's going on with that one. I probably will finish this strand though. I will finish this um, little strand but uh, this is going to get put away until, like I said, September or October. Um, I'll bring it back out. But I would love to finish this this year because I'm so close. I couldn't put it down. This is a really nice stitch. Oh, I didn't say. This is by the Primitive Hair. Um, and yeah, it's amazing. I love it. This is, again, this is the full piece. So I absolutely love it. I'm stitching it with Emily. I think she's going to get hers back out in October. So I might just wait till then. Speaking of October, I've already decided what my birthday stitch along is going to be. So if you want to join me prep for it, but it's going to be Lindy stitches newest pattern. Um, the Dracula pattern because it's amazing. Um, so it's definitely happening. The pattern, you get two different ways to stitch it. I'm personally going to stitch it the more squared up way. I love both, but, um, the more squared up way is just more up my alley. Um, but it's her new Dracula pattern and, um, it's amazing. And it says, I love the shade and the shadow and would be alone with my thoughts when I may. Amazing. Amazing. Um, I'm going to stitch this way, but you will get, you get both in the pattern. So you can stitch it whichever way you want. And, um, so at the end of October, birthday Sal, um, and it's going to be that pattern. Uh, and she just released it. I think it's already available. But um, yeah, I'm going to wait till October. So if you want to stitch that with me or at least start it with me, um, go ahead and start getting your supplies um, and all that jazz. Um, I need to come up with a hashtag. If you have any hashtag ideas, let me know um, because I'm really bad at coming up with those. Um I guess we could use the same one as last year. Um, it was K-A, well, no. Oh, we did Gone Batty, but that was for the Gone Batty pattern. I don't know. We'll have to come up with something, but it'll be for my birthday. Um, and it's bats. I love bats. Love bats. And she likes, like, kind of like spoiler alerted that there was a bat pattern coming later this year. And so I was already like, it's happening. Um, and so, but now that I've seen it, it's even more, it's happening. So, um, yeah. Um, so I got something in the mail. Y'all know what pineapples mean. It means my wish Cassie bag came in. It's so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Um, so it's this beautiful green fabric. There's like music notes and like newspaper on the baby elephants and, uh, little stars and stuff on the, on the mamas. And I got mine paired with teal. So you have the option of teal or a um, magenta, really, really, really pretty. And on the inside, 
we have tone on tone fabric and a pineapple house label. I have not picked a pattern to go in this yet. <gasps> Ooh, maybe my bat. No, that needs a Halloween bag. Okay, stop talking. Um, <laughs> scattered. Um, I was also sent this cute sticker. <laughs> How cute is this? It's so stinking cute. I don't know what to put this on at all, but how adorable. Um, and it's so cute. I love it so much. So um, I knew that this was being made. I knew that this was being made. I didn't know exactly how it was going to be made, but um, I knew this was coming. So um, Cassie stitched me this and I stitched her a gallbladder. So I just need to FFO the gallbladder and send that to her. But we wanted to stitch each other a little tiny small. So I stitched her a, a gallbladder. And um, she stitched me this cute little Snoopy with a heart because we both love Snoopy. And so um, I've, his new little spot is on one of the knobs of the entertainment center so I can stare at him, stare at him all the time whenever the TV is closed up. So um, that's it, you guys. <laughs> that's it. Um, yeah. Life was crazy this week. Thankfully, Laura did not come here, but Laura did do a lot of damage in Texas um, at the border of Louisiana, and Louisiana is devastated. Um, so keep sending good thoughts, wishes, prayers, candle lighting, whatever you do to send good juju, karma, and love towards those affected by the hurricane. Um, and if you're able to donate to local organizations for the hurricane, um, please do so. Um, and just know that I'm personally like thinking of everyone who is affected. I have friends who are affected. Luckily they evacuated um, and are safe, but they haven't made it home yet to see their damage. So, um, just keep people in your thoughts and prayers. And if you're able to do something monetarily to help those out, especially in Louisiana, um, and update, there's two more things out over like the islands right now. And they, if they get into the Gulf, they can turn into something. So, um, it's, Two more months of hurricane season. <laughs> so um, anyways, that was it. I hope that y'all have had a fantastic week, less hectic. Um, let me know if y'all can think of hashtags for the birthday sal. And if you don't want to stitch the bat, any, any Lindy Stitches piece um, would be fantastic for my birthday. There's Emily's house and, oh, I forgot the name of it, but I have, I have another one that I, well, my Emily's house has started. Maybe we should just make October a Lindy Stitches month with Witches of Salem thrown in. <laughs> Let me know if you're into that. Um, what is the other one called? Um, hold on. I'm going to look it up because it's going to drive me bananas if I can't remember. Lindy Stitches. Beautiful things. I have it in the PDF form. So this is another Lindy Stitches piece that I really want to start soon-ish. Uh, and it's called Beautiful Things. And it says, oh my darling, it's true. Beautiful things have dents and scratches too. I really want to stitch that. So um, it doesn't have to be, like I said, the bat piece. It's just a Lindy Stitches piece for my birthday. My birthday is October 29th. Um, so we'll probably start it later in the month, but let me know what y'all think.
send me send me some some thoughts um in in the comments um and let me know how y'all were this week and yeah i will see you on next friday um love y'all bye